All right, so I'm really excited. Today I'm actually headed to Faith Church, which is actually one of our newest clients, which we're very excited about. But besides that, I'm headed to film with the C200 for the first time today. It's not our first time using it. Scott's been using it for about like a week or two, and he said it's been amazing. Hey. Yeah. So obviously, like Scott and I are both Faith Church worship leaders and you know we attend this church, but we actually recently just got hired by Faith Church to do like actual video work for them, which we're insanely excited about. So we're gonna be working with them a lot in the coming months and years, and, and this right here um, is gonna be the new staple, the new, the new camera that we're gonna be using for just about everything. So church started, uh, I already got like a few shots. I don't know how much of this I can show or not show, but Hopefully I can quickly show you, this is the first shot I ever got on this Canon C200 right here. Huh? Not bad, right? All right, worship is happening, so if it's a little loud, I'm sorry, but I just wanted to let you know that I'm really excited about using this. Um, so far, it's been incredible. Um, it's almost like nerve-wracking, because like I know the GH5 so well that like when I'm using a camera that I don't know, like with muscle memory ability, it's like, a little nerve-wracking, but this is like the best scenario to use it in for the first time because it's all B-roll based, so there's kind of like no pressure, but I still feel pressurized, you know what I mean? It's, it's a little give and take. But I'm just excited to finally be in like the cinema camera space, and uh, and I'm really excited to be using it today. So this is gonna be our, our new stuff right here. Right now, so far, I've been using the Canon 85 millimeter. Uh, lens, so I still have two more services to go. I'm gonna get a ton of stuff. Uh, hopefully it goes well. <laughs> and for like the one dude in the comment section that's gonna be like, your name's not Jason. I know I'm not Jason. This is our audio technician and engineer here at church. I need a red tag to get into certain spaces in the church for security reasons, and they're gonna make me one, but they haven't made me one yet, so I'm kind of borrowing this for right now. I have all my clearances, I promise. Okay, so today is day number two of me using the C200. I'm very excited about it, because we're gonna be using it in a lot of different scenarios. And uh, this is Ben. Say hi, Ben. <laughs> hi. <laughs> you need a haircut? Sure. Dude, looks good, man. Nice and clean. You like a brand new man. Dude, you look like one. <laughs> What's your initial C200 thoughts right here? <laughs> what screen? I don't know why it's taking me five years to buy one. What screen? The scrim. Oh, the scrim. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, I don't yeah. Know why it's been five years since I've had one? It's like the amount of times we could use them. We'll use it today. I know. But I figured we may use them post shoots, so that's why I want. Probably to will. Now it's really cool because it breaks down that small, but it's a four by four. Mm -hmm. so okay. I bought two different diffusing panels for it. One is one and a quarter stops. Okay. And one is three quarters of a stop. So there's two scrims. The same frame. Okay. And then you put different diffusion, oh, diffusion on it. Okay. And then you can also put negative diffusion, so you can okay. use light, I see. but it softens it. So like when you have harsh afternoon sun, like we're gonna have, right. it becomes nice sun. Nice and sunny. See, why, why have we not gotten that before? I don't know. <laughs> well, because we tried to not shoot outside there. Right? Uh, Strap the C200 in here. Yeah, put her in her nice little uh, booster seat there. And I don't feel like putting in the case. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, the seat's off. All right, I'll see you there. Already. All right, little little change of plans here. Uh, we have a canvas for the shoot that doesn't fit in any of the cars that we're driving in So I'm actually meeting up with Jake who has a pickup truck And I'm gonna switch cars with him for the morning so that he can drive my car and I can drive his car so I can get the canvas to the shoot That we're going to Does That make sense Good morning, welcome to Star Drives. This is Kayla. How are you doing this morning? Hi, I'm good. Thank you very much. Have a good day There's the pickup truck that's gonna save the day here I got him a coffee because we kind of put this on him last minute. We didn't mean to, it just kind of happened that way. Oh boy. For me? Yeah. What's up? <laughs> All right. All right, so let's see this. How wide is it? Uh, it's 48 inches by 60 inches. It'll fit in here. Yeah, so, all right, I think it will. Lengthwise, it probably might not, like it might go over the bed. But that's okay. It does, you can just rest it on the back and then put the strap on these hooks. Don't mind. 
blanket on top of the canvas. Okay. And put the strap over the canvas. And okay, okay. Thanks. Yeah. I'll see you. Ooh, you know, it's kind of funny this is happening because I've kind of always wanted a pickup truck. Ooh, yeah. All right, let's do this. It's working, I think. Oh, it fit in there. Uh, You're not gonna go any tighter because it's not high enough to right. get pressure on it. It'll just keep it from lifting up. Right. Well, I also have a, a weighted blanket with me. I guess I could put that on top, I don't know. Yeah, that wouldn't hurt. <laughs> yeah, exactly, That that's all you need right there. That's it? Boom. Your wing comes off and catches about from here back. Uh, okay. So this usually doesn't lift right. up. At least that's my tr truck's aerodynamic <laughs> configuration. Configuration. <laughs> <laughs> See you, buddy. See you, man. Not bad, huh? Okay, that one's done. Good to go. We have another shoot in 32 minutes that I gotta get to in the Bethlehem. So I gotta get going. Let's do this. This is quite the day. On well, the plus side though, this is Bethlehem. These are the uh, the steel stacks. Probably the biggest landmark we've got around here. Do you want to eat some food real quick? <laughs> if you want to eat your food, eat it real quick. Yeah, sure. I don't know where they are, but. I'm not in a they, rush. They, uh, what? Okay, so a couple things I just want to make clear here. It's, it's not that the GH5 hasn't done what it's supposed to do. In fact, it's done more than we could have ever asked for. It's, it's legit, I mean the G... Everett. The, honestly, the GH5 has been amazing. It, it literally, the fact that Scott hasn't changed that camera setup, like in the amount of years that we've had it, like is a testament alone to how good the actual camera is because all Scott likes to do is change things because he's so particular about what we need when we're on a shoot. And the GH5 has been perfect. I mean, it literally has everything. I could go over it a million times, but like some of the stuff that pops into mind is obviously 4K60, the fact that you can have unlimited recording time, never overheated on us. It's insanely reliable, it's super durable. I mean, we've had it out in the snow and the rain and the heat and the cold. I mean, it's every single, th it's worked in every scenario. And we've used the same bodies for years, like we've never actually switched out bodies because of something malfunctioning. Like it's legitimately like every, I mean, and that's just the surface level stuff. It's amazing. They're literally amazing cameras. So don't, I don't want you to think that like, oh, we're switching to C200s because we're mad with the GH5s. No, in fact, it was kind of difficult to switch because of how great the GH5s are and how like accustomed we are to them. But there's some things that the Canon C200, that cinema cameras in general do that for clients that we're starting to acquire and work that we're starting to do, that we feel like this switch makes sense. So obviously with cinema cameras, there's a lot that goes into that, but I mean, there's just so much you can do. Like there's literally buttons everywhere for every single thing that you could think of. Fact that we can just put an XLR right into the side of the camera for audio. Biggest thing that I've noticed the past couple of days using the camera is dynamic range oh my the c200 definitely has the gh5 beat in that arena just because the amount of dynamic range i forget the amount of stops of dynamic range but it's significantly more the fact that it has raw capability is just insane that the, the lenses are super crisp and the canon color science is actually something that i'm a huge huge fan of being a colorist i love Canon color and the fact that we can do C log and and with the amount of information that you get in your pictures like it's just been amazing to be able to see that 
in action these past couple days. So we now have two C200s and me and Scott are about to head out for another shoot um, tomorrow actually. And it's pretty good that I got TSA pre-checked because if I didn't, I would be waiting in line tomorrow on security. I wonder how long the flight is actually. Did I even tell you where we're going? Yeah. 